Do you write code in Amos Basic? Want to get your program talking to the internet? Well, now you can in style. Introducing the BSD Socket extension for Amos Professional, available now on AmiNet. Back in 1998, I tried writing a pure Amos networking library. It kinda worked, but I didn't have the skill nor the time to truly finish it up. So I put it up on AmiNet and walked away from the Amiga for a while. Now, a quarter century later, I... Okay, okay. I am old. I get it. A quarter century later, I have now written a proper Amos Professional extension, entirely an assembler that not only duplicates most of the original functionality, but improves the API in numerous ways. The extension is available on Aminet, as well as on the HackerBun code repo. Download and unpack the most recent release, and follow the installation instructions. Assign the extension to extension slot 18, and you're ready to go. The extension requires that you have an internet connectivity program running, like Miami DX or Roadshow, before you can use most of its functionality. Open the BSD socket library in your code, and your code will be ready to hop on the information superhighway. The extension provides both low-level access to BSD socket functionality, as well as some higher-level abstractions around waiting for network activity. There's example programs in the release and on HackerBun that show off writing both client and server code. Due to how Amos takes over the machine when running, the extension uses two approaches to ensure that network connections don't block your program in a way that Amos can't recover from. The example code shows the combination of timeouts and socket selection that make writing network code in Amos as safe as possible. The extension is licensed under the MIT license, so use it as you wish. But please, tell me about it so I can link to your project. As of this video's release, the extension's been powering the client-side networking of the game Aquabus for over a month, so it's already stood up to a lot of use. If you want to see a great example as to how far you can push networking in Amos Basic using this extension, look no further. If you found a bug, have a patch to fix an issue, or have other feedback on the extension, please visit the About section on theindustriousrabbit.com to find out how to email me. Email is the best way for me to keep track of what needs to be done. Praise is welcome on Fediverse, but I'll redirect bugs, issues, and features to my email to keep it fair to everyone. If you like the extension, or you enjoyed seeing this 25-year-long journey come to this point, check out the donate link in the description. New releases will end up on Aminet and HackerBun. Subscribe to the RSS feed for the project, or to the RSS feed on theindustriousrabbit.com, or follow me on Fediverse for new release notifications. Finally, Thanks to the Amiga and Amos communities for keeping these machines and programming tools alive for so long. It's been really great revisiting this world, and I look forward to diving into even more Amiga-related topics.